Hey guys, this is Sad Crow Man, and welcome to my personal channel, where I talk about whatever I want, and that's usually Melanie Martinez. Especially now that their new album, Portals, is out, I think it's high time I address these highly important, peer-reviewed findings on my channel. Melanie Martinez stands are just better than everybody else. First of all, Melanie Martinez stands are more likely to be empaths, something that is highly respected on the internet. 18 stands were collected from a local university and hooked up to an fMRI machine. The music clips selected for the research consisted of popular music excerpts, artistic music excerpts, so Melanie Martinez, and clips of meaningless musical notes for control. The study found that listening to Melanie Martinez produced a more thoughtful, empathetic response in people than popular music did. The cortical region was more sensitive to Melanie Martinez, and the cognitive empathy regions of the brain were more responsive to Melanie Martinez than to popular music, implying more social cognition involved artistic music aesthetic appreciation. This study gives clear neuronal evidences supporting the view that Melanie Martinez music is of intelligence, while the popular music is merely of physiology. The obvious conclusion of this study is that Melanie Martinez stands are more intelligent, both intellectually and emotionally. Additionally, in a study called The Effects of Selected Classical Music on Self-Disclosure, 85 undergraduates spoke into a tape recorder about significant experiences in their lives. Results indicate that background music had an effect on the disclosure topics chosen, promoted cognitive suggestion of expression, and increased enjoyment of listening to Melanie Martinez. In other words, of all people, surely Melanie Martinez stands are more likely to open up and share personal information than stands of other artists. Melanie Martinez stands are thus clearly more open and personable than everybody else, making them more emotionally available as friends and as partners. Melanie Martinez stands also have a lower blood pressure than humans do. One may assume this is because we are of the Fey now, having followed Crybaby through the portal, but the real answer is far less mystical. You see, Melanie's music has healing properties. Sixty subjects were randomly assigned to three groups that listened to various Melanie Martinez or Olivia Rodrigo songs for 25 minutes. The control group sat in silence. The cortisol, heart rate, and blood pressure of each group was measured before and after the experiment, and the study found that music by Melanie Martinez lowered the subject's blood pressure and heart rate, while music by Olivia Rodrigo did not. The K-12 album had the strongest effect, particularly the song High School Sweethearts. The unparalleled calm of the lines of, If you cheat, you will die, and I will rip your f***ing face apart, caused cortisol levels to decrease in all participants and the heart to be in the perfect rhythm. Thus, it is impossible for Melanie Martinez stands to have high blood pressure. However, it is worth noting that Olivia Rodrigo stands were predictably more likely to have their driver's license than Melanie Martinez stands, who are mostly too gay to drive, and two participants had to drop out because they couldn't catch a ride to the study. Martinez stands across the board agree that we are too busy trying to manifest wings now to worry about silly trivial things like driving. Some people will doubt the studies I've shared with you today. They'll say, ah, but it's April Fool's Day, so it must be a joke. Or they'll say, ha, they just took a bunch of studies on classical music and claimed the results in the name of Melanie Martinez. But we must be patient, channel Daddy Martinez, and send love and light to these naysayers. Melanie may not be as popular as, say, Gaga or Adele, but we must resist the temptation to try to convert every hater to our numbers. You see, to be fair, you have to have a very high EQ to understand Melanie Martinez. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of the age of Aquarius, most of the jokes will go over a typical listener's head. There's also Mel's empathetic outlook, which is deftly woven into Crybaby's characterization. Her personal philosophy draws heavily from Doreen Virtue literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just funny, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Melanie Martinez truly are idiots. 
Of course they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the humor in Mel's empathetic catchphrase, Wheels on the Bus, which itself is a cryptic reference to Verna Hill's folk song, Wheels on the Bus. I'm smirking right now just imagining one of those addle-pated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Melanie Martinez's genius wit unfolds itself in their headphones. What fools. <laughs> How I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a Melanie Martinez tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only. And even then, they have to demonstrate that they're within five EQ points of my own, preferably lower beforehand. Nothing personnel, kid. If you're a fellow Melanie Martinez stan and you like this video, be sure to check out my others and maybe subscribe. I recently posted a retrospect on the K-12 through era, and I'm currently working on a song analysis of evil. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Please rate, subscribe, and blessed be motherfuckers. Oh, and of course, April Fools.